Hey, what's up, you guys? This is MC Lego Boy here with uh, Insectoids Domo. Um, yeah, <clears throat> there's no Japanese word for insectoid, and I didn't really like alien or something else in Japanese. It it just didn't work, so I decided to keep it Insectoids. Now, Insectoids is um an old Lego theme. And so, uh, I, I really like them. I only got two of the sets, but the sets that I got were pretty awesome. But being my elementary school self, I kind of blew them up into other little pieces. Well, I had so many of these pieces to make a domo out of it, and I thought it was a cool idea. So anyway, here we got it. Insectoids Domo, and you guys can probably hear some music in the background, uh, yeah, that's just to set the mood, I tried to get some space type stuff, so, anyway, yeah, like this, this is a cool song, I like it, um, this is probably in the intro that I still have not made, I don't even know if I'm gonna get a little stop motion thing for this guy, I'm kinda rushing to get a hundred videos, so before my anniversary on YouTube. So, anyway. Uh, what first? Well, I guess we just kind of go from top to bottom. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to take the head off because that could be bad. Oh, no. Yeah, this is one of the coolest guys. Yeah, he's kind of the most fragile out of the whole group of domos that I've got. But anyway, here's the head. Uh, on top, we've got one of the insectoids, 2x2 two two tiles, uh, incorporated these weird radar laser dish things, and then I added some cones on there. Um, if you guys don't know, the main color scheme of insectoids are black, blue, and gray with this neon green, this neon trans green. So, um, underneath the head, or visible, he's got, uh, dark green eyes, which is a nice little touch. Um, his head's the same size as such a Mapanku, if you guys remember him all that time back. <laughs> That was the third domo. Uh, anyway. Uh, I got some blue teeth, blue grills, stuff. Uh, this is the main thing for the side of the head. I, I think it works quite nicely. And it's got that and that and that, you know. You know. <laughs> that stuff. Yeah. Uh, torso. I don't even know if that was all in frame or not. But we'll just keep going on. Anyway, torso. Uh, incorporated uh, another one of those uh, two by two tiles. We got one of these, which is cool. Uh, I think the only time these were made in this color were for insectoids, so that's cool. I got a, these one by one slopes in there. Weren't released. Back whenever Insectoids were released, I think they were primarily 1999. So whenever Insectoids came out, um, also they had a lot of moving parts on these sets. So there would always be sometimes an arrow pointing stuff. So I incorporated an arrow into there, and I incorporated a few more, and we'll get to that uh, next after we review the back of it. Uh, Got a giant jet thing for such my pink, uh, such my insectoid snowmobile <laughs> to fly. Uh, added engine thing, kind of like what I did with such my pink doma, where I added the half length pins. That way I can have an engine on the back kind of feel. Um, I never did say this, but. 
Insectoid's Domo, he is actually an alien Domo. So, um, the typical alien, meaning he, he's not a very good person, but <clears throat> he's one of my favorites. Uh, on to the arms. Let's see if I can actually take off one of the arms without completely dismantling the thing. <laughs> Man, dude, these hinge pieces are very uncooperative. There we go. Now let's get the torso back on. that back on. <laughs> and put the rest of them over here. Now the arm, uh, this is the right arm. Uh, decided to incorporate one of those weird jewel things that they're always after. For those of you who are Insectoid fans, you guys are probably liking this just because I had thought so much into putting in insectoids garb, like these little crystal things, or, you know, you know what I mean, yeah. Uh, added one of the insult the insectoid wings. I was originally going to make uh, him have the two really big wings on the back, but I couldn't fit those in, unfortunately, but I went with the rocket. But, yeah. You'll see where these come in handy later. Um, he can't bend his arm out the whole way. And that's because another one of these windscreens is in the way. He can bend it like that, and he can still rotate his arm to, <coughs> to mock, haha, <laughs> mock, um, Domo's signature stance. Um, by the way, I made this guy, like, so long ago. Domo hasn't even been Domo for very long. After I started making all these different versions. So, uh, anyway. Yes. Uh, the elbow armor P section on there. It's a jumper plate with a uh, trans neon green grill on there. Uh, another one of those insectoid things, and look, an arrow. But what's this? Ha ha! He's got three laser things, kinda. Yeah, he's got three weapons. More little arrows. Um, I, I think I got the blue hinge piece off of a Life on Mars set. If you guys remember 2001 Lego Life on Mars. Yeah. Um, but anyway, he's got a typical laser thing here. Probably a heavy laser thing here. This uses a trans green uh, cylinder and stud, and then a trans neon green radar dish. So that works. And then his weird sword thing that kind of swings out. I, I really like this. I mean, it adds a lot more to the playability. Uh, this guy, I think he'd be pretty fun, but you'd get annoyed because stuff like that happens. If you were some kid that was playing around with this and all of a sudden it fell apart on you, that wouldn't work as a well, like I said. It is a pretty awesome looking mock though. Um he actually starred in uh another mock thing that I did where it was the extreme T fan of Lego bully contest, and if you guys are on mock pages, if you go to my home page, which is whatever website it is, I don't know, uh, just go to mockpages.com, type in MC Lego Boy, you find the people, not the only person, um, and there you go, you'll find a link that says, like, I've won a contest, here, here it is in the link, and he actually was the bully mech. So, uh, anyway, 
the leg design. Oh my god. <laughs> this leg design is freaking awesome. <laughs> and I should have kept this arm off. Hmm. Oh, come on, work. There we go. Uh, this leg design is ginormous. Um, top armor, not so much, but he's got knee pads that kind of extend from his shin. So, he's always got knee pads, kind of like what uh, Mizu Domo was like. Isn't it amazing I'm remembering all these guys' names? Uh, yes. He's got butt padding right there. Uh, more giant jets on the back of his feet. Kind of reminiscent of Han Domo. Uh, I've basically incorporated everything and in, everybody into this guy. There's got to be some... Uh, what was that guy's name? I don't think it was Frizu. It's the Frostbite Domo. Um, I don't think I did anything with Sentinel Ego Domo. But whatever. Um, another one of those radar dish things. Uh, giant boosters on the bottom. So basically, like, whenever he's flying, he's got complete control of where he is. Um, if he's not insane flying, he uses these. If he's super flying, he uses the wings, and I might as well get them into flight mode, so. If I remember, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know entirely how I got this guy. But, um, I know you do that part, because you always do that. Um, and you rotate those out all the way. Yeah, that looks right. Oh no. <laughs> and now things are starting to fall apart. It does take a lot of time out of trying to get this guy to look Cool. Do something cool. Now I've done it. Um. All right. And then that goes out like that. That does that. And now this is a 15 minute review, so I might as well stop it here. Uh, it's extend. Let's extend his little sword things as he's flying. Just to get him in, like, ultimate mode. Um, yeah. And I can't get him all in the frame. <laughs> anyway, uh,. Hope you guys have enjoyed. This is now probably over 15 minutes. So, I better shut up. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed this silver background that I have. Hope you guys have enjoyed the review. And, yeah. Stay tuned for more stuff from me, like Lego Star Wars reviews, coming soon. And... Uh, some more Domo reviews. So, anyway. See you guys. This has been MC Lego Boy.